resume at a later hour. And uh, are there any statements by honourable members? And I call the honourable member for Ballarat. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. And over the last six months, we've seen this Prime Minister and government start to dismantle our universal health care system as we know it. The Abbott government wants to slug families, pensioners and patients a $7 GP tax every time they visit the doctor, get a blood test or get an X-ray. They have ripped $50 billion out of our public hospital system. And they want to increase the cost of medicines, and they are telling states that they, governments that they should charge you a tax every time you go to visit the emergency department. The government is intent on creating a two-tiered health style system in this country, an American-style health care system where your credit card is more important than your health care card. These lazy policies hurt middle and low income earners, and they hurt the most vulnerable in our society. Members on this side of the House have been speaking to our electorates right across the country about the importance of Medicare. In my own electorate, people are rightly worried about what these changes will mean to them if they get sick. Nearly 67,000 Australians have signed our Save Medicare petition, voicing their concerns at the attack on our universal health care system. They want to tell the Prime Minister that he cannot get away with imposing an unfair $7 GP tax every time you visit a doctor. Australians want the Prime Minister to know that gutting our public hospitals of $50 billion means an increase in elective surgery and emergency department waiting times. And I seek leave to table a document that represents the 67,000 signatures order. that have signed our Medicare leave. petition and are telling Tony Abbott, order, keep order. your hands the off Medicare. The time has expired. I understand this issue of the House. There is no objection to leave being granted? No objection. Leave is granted.